Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 36 of my Minecraft 1.19 Hardcore Let's Play. In today's episode, we got some big goals. We're going to be building a villager breeder in this wonderful underwater area. Going to look pretty cool, I think. We have some uh, captive, I mean, uh, freely living villagers in this little uh, wooden box so they're protected from uh, all the bad mobs. In the last episode, we built that little glass thing and then we also now have a farm inside of our <laughs> our grass cano, which is really nice. I'm, I'm happy we have some living things around us. It was feeling pretty empty without anything in here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be building the villager breeder, and then next weekend, get excited for this, we're gonna go to a woodland mansion and do some exploration around the world. So we are on 1.19, we already went to the mangrove forest, but maybe there's more to see. Probably not though, I think that's it. Uh, but yeah, let's get a few things together for the uh, um, villager breeder. Namely, I just need to go and grab a bunch of dirt. So I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't want to make you, okay, I gotta sleep. I don't want to make you watch me gather dirt. That's very boring, but I'll come back with a full inventory of dirt. You guys want to watch me frantically gather dirt? Nice. Okay, well I know I won't have to gather dirt anytime soon. Um, we're not even going to need this much for the build, but I keep running out of dirt, so I figured I'd just get a little bit more than I needed. Alright, we'll just glide... <laughs> oh, it's always fun to be knocked on your head when you have expectations to glide. Um, I think my dirt was uh, over here in my storage. I'm pretty sure if it's not, that's okay. Um, but the reason I need dirt is so that I can actually build the layers out um, in this thing. You know, like the farming layer, stuff like that. So we're going to do a farming layer, a bed layer, then a farming layer, and a bed layer. I think they might be treated as like separate villages, but I, I don't care. <laughs> like It'll be fine. Um, and then I'm also just going to empty like a shulker box so I can carry it with me so I don't have to come back up a bunch. This one looks like it's fairly empty, so... We'll just take the stone out of here and put it where it goes. Okay, so I just stocked it with some wood and stuff like that. Everything I think that I'm gonna need. Um, also, I don't need to carry around two pickaxes. As great as that is, I, I don't really need it. I also don't need this stuff to breed the animals in my inventory either, so let's go put it in here. I really do like the way this thing turned out. Yes, we're gonna be using this stuff. I promise we're not gonna leave that on the ground, but it is nice to have a nice little loft in here, and to hear things in this volcano feels nice, because we, we, we've gone a long time where you can't hear anything. So, I don't know if I wanna do like a spiral staircase down this entire thing. I don't know if the villagers would be confused or if it would look cool. I think it would look cool, so let's do that. Uh, hmm, I'm trying to think if I want to make like a little temporary chest. I know that sounds stupid, but I need somewhere to put this glass. Because I know we're going to immediately need the glass, but like, and the dirt. But uh, I think this will work a little bit better. Now, I also don't know if I have enough wood to do what I'm envisioning here. But we're going to make as many slabs as we possibly can. That should be good. If I use more, then I'm going to have to go get more wood, which I just did. Um, okay, so I'm envisioning kind of like a spiral staircase that goes down. So I don't know how this is going to really work, especially like right here, just because this stuff kind of sticks out from the wall. But maybe we can just kind of go down like this. Hmm. I'm trying to think because, yeah, this kind of messes me up. It'll be easy to do once we get to that layer, but... I think for right here, I'm just going to have to do some normal, like, I don't know. Hold on. Maybe ladders? Okay. I've decided to go with another solution, which is just going to be actually making this like a purely like cylindrical thing of glass. So the bottom, the top of this thing, I don't know what we'll use it for, but this way we can look down into the villager breeder and kind of see what they're up to. I'll try to add some kind of skylights in the middle of the um, different floors. I really only grab one stack of glass. I was like, yeah, dude, that'll do it. Just one stack. What am I thinking? Okay, so we could probably use like just some ladders or something, really. I, I, it doesn't really matter. This is not an important part of the build. And uh, if I decide I want to go with something else in the future, then I can just change it because it's pretty easy. I know, guys, you're anxious to see your new home, but not quite yet. We're not quite there yet. Cool. <laughs> That works. That works perfect. And now I just have to make a spiral staircase down this entire thing. Which, you know, that sounds pretty simple, right? But it's, it's actually going to be kind of difficult, I think. I'm just breaking out enough glass that I, th I think this should give us enough room. And I want it to jut out from the side enough to where I can actually, like, walk on it. So I'm going to work on doing this. 
And then when I'm done, I'll come back because this is just one of those things that's kind of slow going. Um, you know, it's going to end up looking pretty good, I hope. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just we'll just kind of have to play it by ear. Hopefully it turns out good, right? You always want things to turn out good, but sometimes they, they look better in your head than they, than they turn out to look. But I don't know. We'll see, guys. Give me a bit. Okay, so the villagers should be able to kind of figure this out. That way they can kind of pathfind to each layer. And, uh, oh, see something, there's some parts of it that just seem a little weird. Like right there, it seems like it's too wide. But now it seems like it's too thin. But now it's too wide. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's whatever. Uh, but it definitely looks pretty cool. And uh, we have a way that we can go up and down, which is all that we really needed. Okay, so now we get to build the layers. Uh, this bottom layer is going to be made of... Well, I'm probably going to leave that one, actually. This bottom layer is going to be all just dirt. Now, I'm going to have to figure out a better solution for lighting. I honestly think what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to end up putting a bunch of these uh, shroom lights in. Because there's not really a better way to do this. I've tried to think of one, and I don't really have any better options here. And I, I really don't mind the way these look. We've used them in the rest of the volcano, so I think they look, you know, kind of in the palette. And, uh, yeah, looks pretty good to me. And each layer will kind of have more. We may have made a few too many slabs, dude. Just a few too many. <laughs> how do, why did I make so many? I always overestimate how many I'm going to need of everything. But that's, like, way too many, dude. Look at all those. Why did I make so many? So, what we're going to do now is we're going to build this bottom floor here out of dirt, which is going to be the first layer of farmland. Now, I think I'll have to put maybe a bucket or two in the middle, but the outside, the water will kind of like, you know, go through the glass in a way, if that, if that makes sense at all, because it still treats it like, you know, four blocks away, it'll go and saturate. So, let me fill this in with dirt. I'll go grab a hoe real quick. We'll make like a diamond one or find one in a chest that we somehow have. So while I'm watching this, I'm watching Critical or Penguin Zero. Uh, it's a video called Goofy Million Dollar Motorhomes. And he's watching this $2 million motorhome. And dude, I love the guy. I've been watching him for so long. And I think it's so funny. People spend $2 million on a motorhome. But at the same time, hey, if it's what you like, it's what you like. But I don't think I could ever spend that much on a motorhome. As much as I uh, think it's cool and all, it seems kind of like a... I don't know. I'd rather have a $2 million house because... I live in Oklahoma, and that would be like a mansion. <laughs> like, literally, that would be a mansion. You should look at, like, you know, Zillow or Redfin around, uh, you know, like, Oklahoma City. And, you know, filter from, like, a million to two million. You literally get a mansion. It's pretty cool. Um, now, as for how far the water will come in, it should be, like, three blocks. Kind of like this. So I need to figure out where I'm going to put And there's no point in having those in my offhand. I know. I'm just used to it because of Optifine. But I'm going to need water probably like right here, I think. I don't know where else we'll need water, but I think it's kind of ironic that this thing's surrounded by water and we have to artificially add water, but you know what? It's Minecraft. Okay, so we have this thing built. Um, oh, and now the last step is just to plant carrots. Now they should grow quicker with a big like space in between them. I wish I had like some bone meal. I do in my skeleton farm, which I could totally fly to. It's like, it would take like less than two minutes. So I'm going to fly to my farm. I guess it doesn't matter how I plant these then. If I'm gonna, about to go grab the bone meal, the growth, the growth booster, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go grab some bone meal from my old house. And then we can build the first villager layer of beds. And it does look like it's night, so I'll sleep. So we're back in the old base. And we're going to go to our old XP farm, which uh, I sat in for quite a while. Um, the reason I'm coming down here, I think we have bones upstairs, but my elytra is almost dead. So figure we might get a few skellies in the bag and uh, regen our health a little bit. How long is this path? Wow, it's like a rocket long. Ooh, can we make it? No, but we're close. So let's go check out oh, from the beginning of the game. You guys remember this? Whenever we were just mining for coal? Or no, we were mining to get to this spawner. That's right. I had the coordinates and I was mining to it. That's right. So I'll AFK up here for like a little bit. Let some skellies spawn. Okay. So that should be enough skeletons. That was maybe like a minute, maybe two minutes. But I want to show you how many bones we have. Just in case you didn't know. Hey, there's stuff here from the last time I was in here. I threw stone grinders on the ground. Why did I, why did I throw stone, seven stone... 
cutters on the Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not leave those there. But hey, maybe I thought, hey, next time I'm here, I'll have more inventory space and I'll take them because they'll you know not be despawned. And let's see, how many more durability is that? Yeah, that's more than enough to get us home. But yeah, look at this. So you guys kind of remember this. Maybe you kind of forgot about it. Um, but we have a, lot, <laughs> have a lot of arrows and a lot of bows. Specifically enchanted bows. Look at all the bones, dude. Which I have no room for. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just put, we'll, we'll just throw away some stuff I know I won't like immediately need. A bucket, I, I can... Mm, no, I'm not going to throw it out. I, I, I thought about it real hard, but no. This is enough bones. Yeah, that's enough bones. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the Kano. Okay, guys, we are back at the volcano, the mega base. I know I need to texture the outside. I promise we're going to get to that, guys. I've just been going on vacation, so I haven't had time to do streams. I've been recording these all like in one row. The last six episodes were recorded in one day, so it was pretty cool. Uh, anyways, I'm going to make this bone into a bone -a meal. Um, I don't know how my inventory has accumulated more than I have room for, but we're just gonna... I know, it's terrible. I know, I know. Um, but yeah, let's make some bone meal. I don't know how much we're gonna need. That's honestly probably more than we're gonna need, so we'll put up the rest of the bones. But we'll need it for other layers, so I'm trying... I'm forward thinking here, guys. I'm, th I'm a thinking forward. I'm a forward thinker. Something like that. So, now all I'm going to do is grind these carrots and uh, get a full layer of carrots going. So, don't mind me. I'm going to do that. Look how many carrots you get, too. Just from that many, we already have 35 more, which is honestly, like, a lot. Especially in this space, because this space is not huge, but I think the villagers are going to be happy down here. At least that's, that's the hope. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a full layer of carrots, and now... All we've got to do is introduce some villagers. So I'll just kind of randomly spam some bone meal down just to kind of simulate some some speedy growth because the villagers are not going to have any carrots to start with. I can actually like give them some of these extra carrots and in their internal inventory they'll kind of share them and whatnot. But since we're only starting with two villagers it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, but yeah, I think that should be enough random growth. I wanted to use all this bone meal so I might as well give me a sec. Overall, though, I think this looks pretty cool, and I also think this mega base has turned out quite amazing, but, you know, I'm a little bit uh, biased, as they say, because of the one who built it. Um, so, we're not ready to introduce villagers just quite yet. The next step is going to be... I know, I know. The next step is going to be, I'm going to build another layer of glass, and that's where we're going to put our first area of beds. So, I want to give them, like, quite a bit of space, but I also want to have enough space for, like, another another farm in here. So I'm trying to think of the best layer here because this would be how much room above your head. So four blocks above your head and then we'd have to do another farm which would be... Okay, let me plan this out and make sure this works. Okay, so we're going to want to bring it down by one block which is fine. Having a three block space... That's not a three block space above your head. Hmm. You know what? It should be okay. We should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fill in this layer here and... Uh, then as soon as I get done with that, I'll come back because then we're going to be adding our first beds and then we can bring the villagers down here. And then we'll repeat this and then do another layer. Like We'll have four of these layers, basically. Okay, so we have that first layer done. I'm probably just going to add some fence. That way the villagers don't fall because um, I think they can... I mean, obviously they can fall. I don't know how good their AI is, but I don't trust it. To be honest with you, I do not trust it. So we'll put some fence like like right here, just to kind of block it off a little bit, because I really don't want them walking off the edge. And I feel like this is enough room for them to kind of figure out where to go. I would hope, at least. So now we're going to grab all the beds, put them in here, grab the villagers, and, uh, you know, they shouldn't be able to do this. If I put the ladders like this, they, they don't have the smarts to jump like that. So we should be fine. i got to make sure to breed the animals, too. I guess we don't really need an automatic sheep farm anymore, but... Also, I guess I shouldn't give that other one some wheat. He's gonna, he, I feel kind of bad now because he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any friend. No partner. Oh yeah, our beds are in here. So I don't really want to use yellow beds. It sounds kind of gross. So I'll just use. We'll just use all white beds. How about that? Just pure white beds. Oh, it's only sixteen. Hmm. That's right. They're a pain to craft as well. So I don't know if we want to do them like in a row. 
I, I, I don't know how to do this. It's not, it's not really a plan. I guess we could just put some of the beds like this. Something like this. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess we get to kind of play around with it. Oh, an experiment. That's all the <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. That's all the beds I have in my inventory. I thought that was all the beds I had. Why don't I just put this down? Uh-huh. I am the smartest man alive. Okay, so like that, and then we'll do the same thing kind of over here. Problem being, I don't want to, I don't want them to get too cramped. You know, I, I, I care about these villagers so deeply that I've given them their own underwater facility. Now, I can't even make any more. Okay, so that is that. That's one layer done. I like it being glass because you can kind of see under it, but at the same time, it'll be separated because there will be a layer of glass and then dirt on top of that. We're not just going to do like straight dirt. Or maybe we could and we could put some slabs under it. I don't know. Either way, guys, welcome to your new home. Uh, let me just make some job blocks for him. Hold on. Do we have any more wood? <laughs> that's, a good, that's a great question. Do we have any more? I would hope. I would hope. So we're going to need a lot of composters. Way more than that. What do we need more of? Wood. Oh, no. We've already used all that wood we got last episode. <laughs> I did not expect to go through it so quick. That's for sure. You guys think 90 composters will be enough? <laughs> enough? I almost thought that was 100. But then I'm like, dude, you got to learn in math. So I think this should be enough. And uh, we'll probably just honestly do them like this, which I know kind of reduces our farming area, but maybe this will look cool. I don't know. So we'll put them around the perimeter here and just see how it turns out, right? And then we'll unleash the great number of villagers that we have. You know, they're, they're staying here on their own free will. They're not just like, you know, prisoners and trapped in a wooden box. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. It's turning out pretty good so far. Um, I think you're supposed to go inside of the composter. All right, so let's go grab them. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll just kind of come in here, and I'll have to like. Uh, actually, I probably want to make a path from here. No, you know I don't need a path, dude. They're literally inside of a boat. I don't know if I can go out of a thing this small. No, I can't. I just don't want to hit them accidentally and make them very angry. Okay, so now you are stuck in here. I'll wait till I get both of them in here to do the great unveil. The great unveil, sorry. It's 4.05 in the morning. Please forgive me. I have two more episodes to go, which I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm a night owl, but there's a point where, you know, I record for so long, my voice kind of gets... Okay. Come on, buddy. Into the villager breeder you go. Thank you, good sir. Now, how do we get them out? <laughs> That's a good question. I think, honestly, if we just, like, push them, if we make, like, a door out to the water, we can, like, push them into a bubble tunnel or something, and then we can move them. I don't know. I digress. All right. Boat one. Boat. Oh, almost hit that one. Boat two. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the first thing they do is walk off the edge. Well, they appear to be going... Okay, don't fall off this stuff. Oh, they're going to bed. It must be dark. I guess I could go to bed too. Let's do that. Now let's see what they do. They should both immediately become farmers. If one's a nitwit, then I'll be very sad. But I don't think either of them are. Because of their outfit being like the exact same. Okay, you're going to fall and break the crops, aren't you? Okay, are you going to grab a job, man? Here. Take some carrots. Here. Take some carrots. Yeah. You guys want them carrots, don't you? Uh, Are you going to get a job? Uh, he said, hmm, we're already getting a baby. Let's go, dude. Uh, uh, please. 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 Uh, Come on. Uh, Come on. I think I see, yeah, uh, I see the baby in here. So they won't be like, uh, they won't be like the parents at all because they're not the same biome, but that's okay. Uh, Any uh, other... The other one's still not a farmer. Okay, whatever. We'll just wait on that. We'll see what happens. But what I'm going to do now is continue building this thing. I'm also going to put some fence right here because I feel like that's going to happen again. The villagers really shouldn't ever be on that layer again, but I know that somehow they're going to end up here. And I don't want them to fall. So we'll go ahead and just uh, nip that one in the bud and uh, do that. There is no fence on the inner wall, so they can technically fall. But, like, why would they do that? And why don't you have a job? Here, come here. I'm going to encourage you to get a job. Get, get, a, get a job, dude. Come on. 
Maybe he wants to tend to his newborn. I don't know. Okay, so the next layer. Yes, hello. <laughs> I feel bad because they're stuck underwater, but I don't. It's just, I don't know what to feel. Okay, they're both working now. See? We got two, and we got a baby. So I'm trying to kind of figure this out here. So if we do three, that means the next one, if we want to do a three height, the beds would have to be on a two high ceiling. Unless we raise this whole thing up by one, which we could do, but I don't think having a too high ceiling would really be the end of the world. So I think this will be our next like bed layer. Eventually, like we don't have enough beds, but like eventually this will be the next bed layer. And then we'll just do dirt on this layer and like put some trap doors, for instance, under it. Something that'll kind of mess with it and make it look good. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and build that real quick since we've done enough building, I think. And uh, we'll come back and this thing should be done. Obviously, we can't put beds on that layer, so we'll just leave it like this for now. But I at least want to get the next layer done. All right, guys. You want to see the finished product? I'm pretty proud of it. Come and come down here to our first farm layer, or our first bed layer. Only two blocks high, but that's okay. It's all good. I'm glad I didn't go with four blocks high for the bottom floor. That wouldn't have been possible. And then we have our first layer of farm. Now, no one's up here so far. Um, I also did put, um, I, I learned the hard way that they were gonna fall on the crops unless I put some slabs above it. And uh, I think it looks pretty good, man. I mean, like, I, I really like this. I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out. Especially seeing as how this thing was completely empty when we started, and now we have something cool. So I figured I want to look at this thing from the outside in, so I'm gonna go fly outside, and then we're just gonna see how this baby looks from uh, the water. Assuming it's not night. Why is it always night every time I go outside? <laughs> Seems like more than half the time it's always night, so let's sleep. And I can't sleep because you're right above my head. That's great. Can you can you cease and desist, my good sir? Thank you. Still love how the villager breeder looks better than my own room. Like there's nothing in it. <laughs> Maybe that's the point. It's minimalism at its finest. Okay, let's go look at this thing. Oh my gosh, you were just wandering into my home. No, sir. It's my fault because I never closed the door, but like, you guys shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. Now, I, I learned a trick. If I fly really fast, like that. Oh, well, last time I didn't do it. You guys remember that? You were here. I think it was in this episode, too. Okay, now it's going to be kind of tricky to swim under there because it's like actually really far. Uh, we may have enough bubbles. <laughs> we have the bubbles required. It's somewhere in here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let me go ahead and uh, get you the full view there. There she blows. Dude, it looks pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of digging that. Look at that. I hear the cows too. <laughs> I hear the cows breathing. You know what? I like it. It's got a mysterious vibe. Not really. <laughs> but it looks cool, okay. And there we go, guys. So we have an underwater villager breeder in our volcano. It's pretty sweet. How many bubbles do we have? Okay, we gotta get out of here. Oh, we can still fly. Oh, good. That's actually exactly what I needed because I would have died otherwise. Now, I'm excited to finally have a source of steak again. I know I said I wanted to eat a variety of foods in the beginning of this series, but I realized how short-sighted that statement was because, well, to be frank with you, any other food besides steak or golden carrots, it's just a bad idea. Like, why, why use it? It's just, you just have to eat more and carry more of it, so... Yeah, let's breed these bad boys one more time. I know, it's not a full 30-minute episode, but we completed a project, so I don't really see the need to drag it out any longer um, for you guys, because I don't have any other plans. Next weekend's videos, I'm sorry there's only been two a week, but, you know, I'm doing my best. I promise, it won't be like this forever. In the middle of July, I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere else, and there'll be a lot of videos, trust me. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be exploring a woodland mansion. I don't really know what that entails. I think I need a cartographer. And since I'm recording that weekend's episodes immediately after this one, I'm going to have to, like, get a cartographer, which should be, uh, that should be interesting, I think. It should be interesting. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. The secret code for today's episode is going to be 2098. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the whole video. And uh, if you want to subscribe, then I would really encourage it. I would appreciate it to see you around on future videos. Oh, this place is already getting more lively. We've got three little kiddos running around. Oh, dude, the world is turning out great. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next weekend. Bye! That was like 20 minutes later, and uh, I found a kitty. So I've just been kind of, you know, taking some screenshots and getting everything tidied up.
for next week's videos. And look, we have our very own kitty. Isn't that cool? Um, I, I know they're scared of me, but maybe one day we can tame the kitty. Um, I also wanted to put some fence gates up here just as a safety, you know, in case they somehow get up here. I noticed the little dudes have been, like, running around and, like, playing. Like, they're, like, chasing each other. It was actually kind of cute to watch. But look, we're getting a lot of villagers in pretty dang quickly. We're going to, you know, hit our limit here with how many beds we have pretty soon. So we're going to have to figure that out pretty soon as well. Also, why do these guys not have jobs anymore? Why do these guys not have jobs anymore? Actually, none of them have jobs anymore. Wait, is it because I put slabs on top of these? Did I break the... <laughs> Wait, if I remove the slabs, will they have jobs again? Is that really the problem? Is it the slabs? I don't get it. What did I do? Do you not have a job, buddy? I know, they're tending to the children. I don't know, I'll leave the slabs on here. I'll try to figure it out. If that's what's causing them not to work, then so be it. But, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update. We found a kitty, and uh, everything's going well. Okay, well, I didn't want to leave you guys with no resolution. The issue was, I guess, the, like, the I removed the slabs. He came running down. I put the slab back, and he, like, shook his head, like, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> So then I put leaves on top, and now we have farmers again, so... I guess that's all they needed was like a transparent block above it, but I swear that I've put uh, slabs on top of, you know, composters before, but yeah, whatever, man. It seems to work now fine, so, and I think the leaves look just as good, so yeah, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of resolve there in case you were curious, because yeah, it seems to work fine now. And look, guys, now we have our first iron golem. I don't know how well he's going to be able to navigate down here, but... Yeah, everything's working good in the village. I've just been hanging out in here because I like the beginnings of a villager breeder. I always think they're fun to watch because, look, everyone's watching the kids bounce up and down. And, well, it's a bustling community below the volcano, guys. I knew we'd get here at some point. And I think we're finally here. So hopefully this guy can traverse. I don't think he can go up here, unfortunately. But, yeah, it looks like everyone's doing their job. Everyone's having fun.